Hello, everybody. Um, I don't know if you can tell where I am right now, but I am in the kitchen because today is science day. And we're going to be doing um, something really fun, which I'll reveal in a minute. But when you're in the kitchen or mom or dad or grandma's in the kitchen, sometimes they make stuff and in order to make stuff they have to follow a recipe and the recipe tells you how much of something to put in and what items or ingredients to put into what you're making so today we're going to be making something called oobleck or as you know it slime so I have my recipe here. Welcome to Christie's cooking kitchen here. Here's my oobleck recipe. So it calls for one and a half cups of cornstarch, one cup of water, and some food coloring. And um, you could possibly even make this at home too, but you would have to have an adult's permission. So like any good cooking show, the host or the chef already has the ingredients ready and prepared. So here I have my one and a half cups of cornstarch already. Cornstarch. I have my one cup of water and I have the food coloring. So if you make this at home, the first step, easy, pour the cornstarch into a mixing bowl here, you see. All right. And then the easiest thing to do is add the food coloring to the water first. So I have some blue food coloring here. I'm just going to put a couple drops in there. I put four drops in. Okay, and then you're gonna wanna stir that with a spoon. Get the color mixed in there. Okay, then you're going to pour it slowly into the cornstarch and start mixing. Okay, mix, mix. All right, mix in, you are scrape it off the side of the bowl here. Can you see? All right, it's not really mixing that well with the spoon. So I'm going to dive in here and start mixing it with my fingers which you guys would probably love here. I'm gonna scrape it off the sides of the bowl with my fingers. And if you find out that, um, that it's too liquidy, you can add some more cornstarch to it, which I'm going to have to do because the bowl is pretty much all liquid in there still. So. So I'm just gonna shake some more into there. Oh, nice, there we go. All right, it's starting to kind of get solid there. Mine is still pretty liquidy here. So I'm going to add yet a little bit more cornstarch here too. It's pretty fun to play with. I know you guys like to play with Play-Doh and it feels like you're playing with wet Play-Doh here. But it's ooey gooey. Okay, I'm, it's almost ready. You can see me mixing here. 
Mm. You know, funny. So what's super cool about this is that you can pick it up and it forms into like a solid ball like like play-doh but if i let it sit on my hand it just oozes right back off of my hand show you that again so you can make it into a ball like you would with play-doh and then I'm gonna let it sit on my hand. Oh, look at it go, oozing off of my hand here. Okay. Again, if you wanna make this, all you need is cornstarch, water, and food coloring. I hope you enjoyed watching me play and make with some oobleck today. Um, there's also, I found when I was looking up recipes for this, Dr. Seuss has a book out. I do believe it's called Bartholomew and the Oobleck. I would have played it for you today, but it's, uh, I think it's like 22 minutes long. So, but if that's something you want to do or have time to do, I'm sure it's a pretty silly book. All right. Have a good rest of the day, guys. See you later.